Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be dyeing my hair in front of you guys. It's so random, I know. I told you guys on Snapchat I was going to be dyeing my hair and a lot of you guys are actually really excited. I did warn you though, it's not a crazy color, but to me it is like something really crazy because I've never been this color. I don't like my hair like this. It looks orange in the sun. I'm going to be dyeing my hair black. It is such a big deal to me. I've never had my hair black. I've used like the darkest brown where my hair almost looks black like the first days, but it eventually fades into the right brown but I've never had my hair black and I want to go black I don't want to go blonde anytime soon and I know black is like a really hard color to like take off a lot of you guys wanted to see this on snapchat so I'm gonna dye my own hair I'm not a professional by the way I'm just gonna tell you guys what I'm using I've always dyed my own hair my mom usually helps me dye my hair um, today I'm gonna dye it alone but let's do it the hair dye that I'm going to be using today is a L'Oreal Preference Permanent Hair Color in the color Natural Black. This is like the same type of dye that I always get, so I do use a L'Oreal one all the time, except I get it in dark brown. Recently, I had medium brown, but for the most part, I've always gotten dark brown. But like I said, my hair always fades, so it's going to look different on everyone else. I did pick up three bottles. I'm going to go ahead and start only with one because I do have really thin hair, and usually I only need just this. I did get this, and then I got this brush. I'm going to be using the 20 volume developer just because I always use 20. Sometimes I'll do 10. Uh, I'm not a professional, like I said, I might be using the wrong one, but I've never really had like a problem with it. I feel like such a weirdo right now. Like, who dies? Why am I doing this? Okay, so I'm just wrapping this towel around me because I always make a mess. So I'm gonna brush out my hair. I'm gonna take some of this Clinique moisturizer and I'm just gonna apply it like on the perimeters of the face just because if you get stained, it's really hard for you to remove the dye. You can use like Vaseline and stuff. I'm sure there's like special creams out there that I probably don't know about. So I'm just gonna apply some on my forehead. I usually don't have like my makeup done when I dye my hair, but I didn't wanna scare y'all that much. Much. My makeup is like coming off. I'm being exposed. I'm just gonna put some right here on my ears too because those get really stained. So I'm gonna take the first bottle, which I think that's all I'm gonna need, and I'm gonna pour it in here. Ah! Uh, the same amount that I put of the hair dye, I'm gonna put of the developer. So I'm gonna take the developer and pour it in here, and then I'm gonna pour it in there as well. Now that I have everything in here, which you can barely see, and I'm just going to take the brush and I'm just going to mix it all in. I'm going to throw some gloves on. I'm going to just start applying this at the ends of my hair because those are the lightest. I did put like a really big ass blanket on the floor because I am trying to stay no carpet right now. Starting with my ends. So now that these sides of my ends are pretty much with dye, I'm going to take a little bit more and this is when I grab a lot and I just spread it around. I'm just going to let this side chill. I cannot believe I'm going black. This is insane. So I'm just, you know, this is really difficult because I'm using like a small mirror in front of me. Okay, I'm going to grab a lot again. I look crazy right now. I'm gonna split the top in two. I'm gonna do the back first. And now I'm gonna take the front side and dye that. Oh my god, it's starting to look black already. Oh my god. <gasps> I'm low-key freaking out, but I'm like excited at the same time. And now that I have all this side together, I'm gonna grab more and make sure like every single piece gets some of the dye. Okay, so I'm gonna just twist this a little bit. And same for this side. So I'm gonna start doing the rip. And I like to massage it in the scalp just to make sure it's like getting in there. I'm like a mess right now. This is so hard. Who else like dyes their hair on their own like for real? Because I seriously am the kind of person that never goes like to get the hair dyed. Ever since I was like what like 13? Because like my first time that I got highlights, I was 13. I don't know how my mom let me. But I think like she did them on me. Or no, my, my cousin. She like does hair. I feel like if I ever do go blonde though, like I just rather not go back to my old days because I've dyed my own hair blonde and it's been a living nightmare. I just dropped a lot on my leg right now. Holy crap, I wonder if it's like gonna stay in my leg though. 
The front's like a lot easier because you can actually see what you're doing. I'm gonna grab my little hairs. I remember once my dad like dyed his hair black because of his ganas, like white hairs. It was so funny because he dyed his beard and everything and he didn't know that it would actually stain you. So when he washed his hair, his face and everything, oh he, my dad has like no brows either, okay? So he dyed his brows, which I'm not going to dye my brows because I, I really don't care for them. So he just literally took his finger and went like over his brows and when he washed his face and everything, he looked so funny because when he washed everything off, he had like these really thick ass dark brows, which didn't even look like brows because he literally just got his fingers and boom it was just so funny cuz like hair dye is really hard to get off let me know in the comments down below what color you thought I was dyeing my hair if you follow me on snapchat cuz some of y'all was like Whoa. okay for the most part this entire part feels like really wet and that's exactly how I wanted to feel so now that this side is done I'm gonna grab it into a bun I don't want to like squeeze it so much though cuz I still want all the product to be like sitting on the hair Do y'all see all this going on right now? Hey guys, I'm pretty much done. I'm actually gonna split my hair right though because I don't know what I did. First of all, let me go this one. I'm gonna put all my hair together. Oh my God, it looks so different already. You guys, I think we're ready. I'm just pretty much massaging it, making sure I get every single piece. So I did wash my hands. I did stain myself a little bit on the wrists. I have like a mess right now. I'm so glad I put like a blanket on the floor, you guys, because seriously, I get really messy when doing my own hair, especially when I was like filming it. It was way more difficult than I thought. So yeah, I'm gonna wait 30 minutes. It is 2.10 right now. So by 2.40, 2.45-ish, I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna get in the shower and I think I really have to like wash my entire makeup. So for now, I'm just honestly gonna take some Vaseline, which I couldn't find the Vaseline when I first started and I'm gonna take the Vaseline put a little bit on this napkin and I'm gonna start trying to remove all of this on my forehead because even though I put lotion it still really freaks me out like I know it does stain so I'm gonna let this sit for 30 minutes and I'll see you guys after I come out of the shower this is how I look with black hair I'm gonna still style it I just wanted to show you guys how like it air dried pretty much it's still drying a little bit it's a little a little wet, uh, but I'm just letting it air dry. I'm still really stained, like the stains are not coming off. I heard you can like remove it with alcohol, but I I don't even know where it's at. And I have like a huge stain on my leg. I can't show you guys. Did curl my hair, I wanted to style it because anytime I dye my hair, I wanna make sure it looks right with my makeup on and my hair done. I really, really like it. I got a lot of stains on my hairline that were not coming off, so I just applied a lot of concealer. You can kinda see it a little bit. Let me know what you guys think. I really like it. I just feel like it looks a little bit flat because I have no hair extensions on right now. I for sure need to order myself some Bellamy extensions or something because Bellamy are like the only extensions that I usually wear. So I'm gonna have to purchase myself some because the other ones that I have are obviously not gonna match this and I wanted to dye those but I always notice when I dye hair extensions they get like really dried out uh, but yeah this is how my hair looks with no extensions and I really hope you guys like it as well thank you guys so much for watching me dye my hair I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next one bye